Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Today is my favorite day of the month, the day my book of the month box arrives. And I think I have two books this month. So let's check it out and see what's inside. Here we go. And here is my August book of the month choice. This is called The Wedding People. This is a contemporary fiction by Allison Espock. And the quick take is if you have ever found yourself crying on the dance floor at someone else's wedding, this one is for you. Cheers. I did a little research before I made my book choice and people raved about this one. I'm super excited to read it. The other book of the month choices for August were a romance novel called The Pairing by Casey McQuiston, a thriller like Mother Like Daughter by Kimberly McRae, a fantasy, Hera, by Jennifer Saint, and a literary fiction, The Five Star Stranger by Kat Tang. In addition to The Wedding People, I got one add-on. I got the new Riley Sager, Middle of the Night. I love his novels. This is a thriller. The quick take is a reluctant return to his hometown forces a troubled man to grapple with his childhood friend's mysterious abduction. One of my book clubs has read several of his books, so he is one of my absolute favorites. So I cannot wait to dive into this one as well. And as always, at the bottom of the box, we have this month's bookmark. I've been expecting you. Those were my books for August. I actually got some reading done in July. So I wanted to go over those books with you. I'm still behind. I still have a big stack that I need to go through. But I do want to share with you the, I think this was my July book of the month choice, The God of the Woods by Liz Moore. And I ordered this one because it takes place in the Adirondacks at a summer camp. And I love the Adirondacks, so I ordered this one more for the setting than anything else. And I, did, I liked it. I didn't love it. Kind of got a little cumbersome for me there after a while. But I do love how it all panned out in the end. The basis of this book is a camper goes missing in summer camp. So they are trying to figure out what happened to her. And as we dive into that, you also find out that her brother went missing years before. Deep dive into the family dynamics, their friends, the community. So I thought it was interesting. Not one of my favorites of the year, but glad I read it. I teased this one last month. I was finishing Wally Lamb's She's Come Undone. And this one has been a bestseller for years, and I am just now getting to it all of these years later. And this was another one. This one was kind of a tough read for me. Dolores Price was, you wanna love her, you wanna just hug her, you wanna help her. Um, she's definitely a very complex character. So many emotions with this book. I love the finale of this book. So I'm going to just leave it at that. If you haven't read it, add it to your list. If you have read it, let me know. Did you enjoy it? Leave a comment below. Are there any other Wally Lamb books you recommend? Let me know. I also wanted to share with you guys, a few months ago I ordered this book of short stories that Book of the Month put out. And I read mixed reviews about this online. But this was the first volume. Issue 9. Then I have Issue 2. I don't know how I missed Issue 1, but... It, I think these are the only ones that they have released so far. So I haven't cracked into this one yet, but I've read this one and I actually, maybe I just love short stories. It's just like perfect amount of digestible bits that when I'm in between tasks, I can just read one of these quick sto short stories and I have closure and I love it. So I actually love these. I'll keep ordering them every time Book of the Month offers them. Here is a look at the cover it has the name of the short stories and then on the back the authors and then last but not least it would not be a summer if i did not read some ellen hildebrand so this last month i read the castaways and this is one of her novels set in nantucket and there is a group i think there's six or eight it's three or four couples and then one of them goes missing you find out right away so this is also not a spoiler they actually die so one of the couples dies and the rest of the book is just the other couples kind of how that's changing their dynamic what it has to do with the friend group and ellen hildebrand is such a master at creating these characters and creating these scenes where you feel like you are in nantucket you are with that group they are your friends you're mad at them you love them you want to go to their house for dinner she is a mastermind at 
describing food. So this was another just great, fun beach read. And that was it. That was everything in my August book of the month box. Again, I'm still far behind. I have a stack of books I need to go through. And so I just added two more to that stack. But if you are interested in trying book of the month, I will have a coupon code in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And if you have any recommendations, more books to add to my list, please let me know. Leave that in the comments below. And that's it. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.